I decided to live here because from the outside it looks like a house and it looks really like cozy and cool. I love the aesthetics of it. It's like a, a small scale mansion that has like a old feeling to it that, that feels like really like home like and welcoming. I feel like it's modeled a lot more like an actual house that I'm used to at Carlton. So I think just that more homely feeling is really, really helps, helps you and such. This grand stairway feels nice when you're coming home. You're not like going up these concrete stairs like in uh, Myers or something. They're like red and it's, it's pretty and it looks really atmospheric. I feel like the stairs are like the one thing that makes me feel like it's a house. But then when you get into the room and the floor, it's just like it's a total dorm. It's a dorm. Honestly, I think it's more like a dorm. I would describe Paris as a dorm with house-like appearance. In my mind, a house is a little smaller. It's more of a community. I don't think we have much of a community. My relationship with the dorm mates or housemates is less intimate than what I had last year. I feel like this house is a segmented house. Living in Paris has its up and downs. But the only really bad thing I will say is the bathrooms. The bathrooms are awful, but that's where there is community. Because it's the only place you really interact with people. You could have left all of this out and I was like, no, it's my child. Oh God. I don't really have community with anybody. I just talk to my neighbors and you who I already knew. I'm also just private. I keep to myself, I think. But I commune with Lyman a lot. Oh yeah, the cat pretty much lives there. I don't, are, we're not, are we supposed to have him here? I don't see anyone leaving no bacon bits out, you know? Whenever I'm sad, I go find him. He's always in the same spot. And he just lets me use him for warmth. Lyman is the love of my life. <laughs> He's got like a really calm energy about him. I just usually use Paris for my chill-in time, and for stuff that like serious work, I'll go elsewhere. I feel like it's a good place to like for social events too. The basement is great. I also like living with the language assistants because they're very nice too, and you get to learn about new cultures and perspectives. I watch a lot of movies in Paris. I just close the door in the basement of Paris house watching a movie on Friday or Saturday night. And I think it's also a good place for uh, parties. I don't know. I mean, I know people on our floor have parties and stuff, but we're never invited to them. At least I'm not invited to them. Sometimes there will, tr there will be drunk people just rush into the basement. I don't know, they're just drunk and lost. Inside my room, I feel like it's a house. I feel like it's much homier than a dorm. What's cool about it, my room is that it has this slanted, like curved ceiling that's like in the attic and that has like nooks. I don't feel like my space is temporary. I knew that I would wanted to like feel at home when I came home, even if it's only for 10 weeks. And I have a good window because I can spy on people in front. Living in luxury, man. Parish is luxury. <laughs>